So if you need a little bit more, come back here and breathe. If you need to adjust your attitude and chill out and not be so grumpy, you must smile and be proud. So from your little line of energy, if you're still a little bit and need to continue on, continue your breath on. And we'll take some namaskar breaths. So inhale, lift up. And exhale. So it's like you're swimming out of your attitude. Inhale. And exhale. Clear the pathways. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly, miraculously, you will be a different person. Inhale. Coming out of the cocoon, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And release this right arm down. Put the forearm onto the ground, reach over. And exhale, bring it back. Bring it over with the right arm. And exhale. Release the fingertips down, roll back into your high plank position. Squeeze your glutes in, look forward. Let's go. Lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale back. And if your attitude is stuck in your neck and your shoulders, remember, you can always come down to a child's pose. Look forward, back into your high plank again. Lower and lift. And exhale, pull back. Inhale, exhale, drop the knees down, cross the ankles, roll yourself through, and pull it down. I'm serious, we're going straight into it, because if you've been all crabby and grumpy, the only thing to do is to make you hush your face. Inhale, and exhale. So that flat back is right there. If you don't feel that, bring it back again, and exhale. Now it's time for fun. Adjust the attitude with your core. Bring your ankles close together. Bring your knees over the lines of your hips. If you lose the scoop in your, in your spine, you will have to come back down and lift up again. It's just fine. Now inhale, exhale. So you're just moving strictly from the center part of the body, pulling from one side of your psoas to the other. Just a little tap. You don't have to bang your foot on the ground even if you're that grumpy. You can kick your heels up in the air later. Bring it back. So you're working through Murapana, which is the light of yellow. So if you've actually had an attitude because somebody's messed with your self-confidence, maybe try wearing a little bit of yellow. It might help. I don't know. You can put a citrine in your pocket. Remember, you always come back down if you get a banana back. Three more rounds. One more, just because I love you. And up, oh, give yourself a hug. Roll over, plant the hands, squeeze it close together. Go ahead, hop back, lower, lift, and exhale. It should, should feel a little warm around your stomach and your lower back, which is a good thing. You want that mantle to be strong because it will help you in so many different areas of your life. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees down, cross your ankles through. We're taking a little bit more. This time we're going to work the outside hip adductors and the inside hip adductors with a little bitty ribbit. Yes, ribbit like the frog. So you want to inhale. Exhale back again, hook in the mula bandha, connect to mana maya kosha right there, navel to spine. Slide the rib cages down, your rib cages down. If you have more than one rib cage, let me know. Lift up. I'm like, that's cool. All right, 
now. Create a V, so you should have flipper legs now. <laughs> Once you have flipper legs, make sure this little guy's not coming off the air, so come back down again if you need to. Check it in, you'd rather have your form than not have your breath or your posture. It's very important, they all work together. All right, now bend your knees out. Now imagine something wrapping. Wrap around your muscles, your tendons, and squeeze out 45 degrees. If you're up here, it's not doing anything. So bring it down low, open, and squeeze. Open, and squeeze. Try not to let your shoulders react. Open, and squeeze. Open, and squeeze. Five more, one, squeeze, two, squeeze. Try not to let your face do the pose. Let's do two more. Come on, you can do it. Always sneak an extra one in. Now hold it there. Now as much as you can with keeping that flat back, scooping in, it should burn by now. Stay with the burn. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Bring it in. Should have had a little bit of an attitude adjustment. Squeeze it in close and go back. Oh, hello, my core is on fire. Roll forward, lift up. I recommend not eating before this. Exhale, take it back. Oh, my left shoulder just opened. That felt amazing. Inhale and exhale. Cross forward, last drill, last one. Come on down, the price is right. Lay here, <sighs> don't conk out on me. <sighs> I'll never let go, Jack. Hold on to the door, bring it up, and here we go. This time, bring it back to your frog legs, open, and take it out. Remember that flat back, open, and take it back. So imagine a diamond from the rib cage all the way to the pelvis. So really keep everything engaged. Four more here. One, two, three. Take another one. Four. Hold. Now bring it up. Just there and bring your elbows to your knees. Exhale out. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze, you should be shaking inside that tapas energy. Just let it burn. One, up, two, up, four more. Another one. Don't leave me just let yet. Rest your hands on your lakut, on your butt. Lift your heart up. Right here, drop the crown of the head back. Slide it down. So your Matsyasana fish pose. Once you're there, lift your legs up. Point the toes. Bring the palms and the hands together if you can today. Keep tilting the crown of the head back. Keep opening up. So you're bringing your jaw and dar line all the way open to help stretch out your neck. And a slight back bend. So you should feel a little bit of space between here. It should feel really nice because all that is burning. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Extend that left leg out long. Take the simple stretch, just little baby twist. If you need to get up higher into your lower back, lift your knee up higher. It'll help you get more towards your L4, L5. And if you get even higher than that, you can get into your L2. If that is too much for you, and you really just need to open up your rib cage, you can lower the leg down and twist. No, everything is activating. That left toe is pointing, that right foot is flexed. And exhale, release it out. Again to this other side, left side please. Open up, try to glue the fingertips together and then spread them out wide into the earth. If your breath sounds like this, 
You need to calm down. <laughs> Exhale, bring it home. Bend your knees, cross your ankles, plant the hands, step, jump, or hop. <laughs> Lower, lift. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, lift your heels, step, jump, or hop, or you can sit down. Exhale, on solid ground. Scoot, scoot, scoot. If you're still going like this, you can play it again. <laughs> May peace be with you. Try to take at least 10 to 15 more breaths and maybe just lay down for a second. Chill out. And if you need a better attitude adjustment or more of an attitude adjustment, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Google Plus or Facebook. And if you need to comment, ask a question, please do. I'll try to answer as much as I can as long as I don't fall asleep on you.